Hey what's up guys, Up North Rider here and well today, today is the anniversary of me buying my Himalayan. That's right, I've had this Himalayan here for one whole year. One year, that's right. So and uh, so I thought I'd just do a, a quick video on my thoughts about the Himalayan. I'm not really going to get into specs or any of that sort of carry on or all that sort of thing. I'm just going to talk about how um, what I've done with it and how how it's made me feel. Get all that fluffy stuff, you know, all the feelings. So yeah, so let's just, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it right now. Right now guys, so hey, I've just said it's raining. Oh man, it's terrible weather. Sort of eased off a little bit now, but so I've got the hat on and the sunglasses on because I'm getting rained on and it's quite bright here. So I'll be real squinting and everything else and I'll get rain all over my head. So that's why I've got a hat and glass sunglasses on, even though it's raining. So I'm doing this in the rain. But anyway, that's, that's cool, that's cool. So, One of the things I want to talk about, guys, is why did I buy the Himalayan? And um, so initially when I was looking at buying this motorbike, you know, I was looking at other motorbikes, big BMWs, Triumphs, and, and all that sort of thing. And it was suggested to me in the comments on the video that, hey, why don't you look at a Himalayan? Why don't you look at a Royal Enfield? And well, I've always had a thing for Royal Enfield, so I did look at a Royal Enfield, and hey, my local bike shop had one of these in stock, and I brought it. I didn't even test ride it. And I took this thing, I just brought it, and off we went, and away we went. So yeah, so that's what got me into the Himalayan, eh? So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I've just brought my uh, Royal Airfield, and, uh, and uh, well, I've got this video on my initial ride home, and uh, here it is right here, link in the description down below. And um, yeah, that, that, that shows the excitement and everything. And um, I've also done a few mods to this, uh, to this uh, motorbike, and again here it is here link down in the description below check them out you'll be able to see what i've um what i've done to this motorbike as well and other than those mods in that video which was done quite a while ago the only other mods i've done is um i've installed shinko tires to this motorbike and i changed up the tires and man these tires are great tires and uh, again video here link in the description below so, so and also just just while we're talking about that buying the himalayan these things are cheap. Man, this is cheap. This is a cheap bike to buy to get you into the ADV um, motorbike market, eh? It's, and, and away you go, it's cheap fun. And so talking about fun, that's the next thing I wanna, I wanna talk about. And um, so this bike here, this bike here is loads of fun. Man, I have had some fun on this bike. And you know, I come from a big CC motorbike, Triumph Rocket 3 Touring. It's a 2.3 litre engine in a man, you know, it's 2,300 cc's. And uh, I come down to this little Himalayan, a 411 cc, 24 and a half horsepower motorbike. You know, my rocket has got way more power and torque than this thing's ever got. But anyway, but it is so much fun. Now why is this bike so much fun? I don't know, it just is fun. And one of the key things I think that it, why it's so fun is because I can twist the throttle full and it won't take off on me. You know, you get that feeling of being able to give it heat. She's a fun bike. It is miles of smiles, this thing. So, and another thing with these bikes, guys, the fun part and all that sort of thing is you get noticed. Man, people see these, these Royal Enfields, these Himalayans, and they, they, people look at it and they look at it and they look at it and then they go, is that a Royal Enfield? Is that really a Royal Enfield? People can't believe that this is a Royal Enfield. You know, the Himalayan model's been out for quite a long time now, but it's not that common. So. So yeah, so you got that, that cool factor. You know, you got that factor of standing out. It's, it's one of the things I did do when I first got my Royal Enfield here was I joined the uh, Royal Enfield Owners Club. It's the New Zealand Royal Enfield Owners Register. And um, it's, a, it's a club here in New Zealand. And um, man, it's taken me all over the show. You know, I've gone to, in the space of this one year of owning this motorbike, I've gone to two motorbike rallies and um, met a heap of different people and different riders. I made some friendships and um, some, some, some real forged, some real relationships. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a neat thing. Yeah, yeah, so after joining the club, I sort of got myself a lot more involved in the club and now I'm actually the area rep for Northland um, for the Royal Enfield Owners Club, you know? So, hey, so if you, any of you guys are in Northland and you wanna be part of the club, hit me up, put a message down below and uh, I'll, um, I'll sort you out. Yeah. And this is my, um, 
just one yearly take on, on how it makes me feel to own this motorbike and, and what it means to own this motorbike. And man, this thing, I've done some real cool road trips on it. I've been to the top of the North Island. I've been out down and around to the Coromandel. Um, been all over the show, all over Northland. Man, and um, there's some other big trips coming up on this thing uh, for later in the year. And yeah, so man, I've done some miles on so, it. So yeah guys, so this is my Royal Airfield Himalayan. I've owned it for one year, one whole year today, and today's the day. And uh, this video will be coming out tomorrow. So it'll be one year and a day when you guys see this video. And I just wanted to just let you guys know what my uh, thoughts were about this Himalayan and where it's taken me, the journey it's taken me on. Yeah, it's taken me all over the show. I've done lots of rides, met a lot of people, and like I say, made some real cool relationships. And um, yeah, we're going forward. We're going forward. A lot more adventures to come. There's a lot more adventures gonna be happening. And uh, so yeah, so anyway guys, I, I might just sign it off there. I don't really have much more to say. So anyway guys, so hey, that's my, um, I'm just gonna wait for that motorbike. <laughs> yeah, rev bomb, will he rev bomb? yeah okay guys so hey that's uh that's about what i've got, got to say about this motorbike after owning it one year um yeah good times on it i've had lots of good times on it and i'm going to be having a lot more i better sign it off there just want to say thanks for watching and i'll catch us on the next one cheers